of thanks to all the faculties of different departments of nursing college. And without taking much time, I want to start my topic, given my topic to our process and overview. Robert Koch discovered TB bacilli on 24th March 1882, opened the way towards diagnosing and curing the disease. So every day, uh, every year, you commemorate 20, uh, on 24th March World TB Day. And for his scientific results, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Medicine in 1905. Tuberculosis Elimination Program, that is NTEP, definitions, various definitions which we should know, management of drug sensitive and drug resistance tuberculosis, and miscellaneous part. So one by one we go through. And very nearly it causes tuberculosis nowadays. And Mycobacterium africanum is mostly in African countries, common African countries. Using discharge microbe respiratory droplets of this sputum containing viral bacilli. Well, increasingly reduced in size by operation. Is less than 5 micron, then it reaches to alveoli and causing tuberculosis. So if more than 5 micron, 10 micron, then it can't reach for close contact, such as family members or in schools or hospitals or malls. So these are the sites where a person may get infection from infected person. On this World TV Day, Itself, it says its theme is like we can end TV on Global TV Day. It is we can end TV, and we are taking all the efforts towards this. In case, if we look at this communicable disease, we find the disease manner as follows. This is uh, Western Pacific region has already achieved substantial achievement in TV care and prevention of the disease, resulting in the deaths related to TB by 42% and incidence by about 17% compared to the levels in 20, 2000. Despite these achievements, TB remains a major public health concern in the region. According to WHO, Global TB Report 2022, in 2021, the region saw an estimated 1.9 million TB cases and 1,26,900 TB deaths in the area. The increase in the deaths was in relation to the COVID-19. World TB Day 2023 2023 with the theme aims to inspire hope and encourage high level leadership, increased investments, uptake of new WHO recommendations, adoption of innovation, accelerated action and multi-sectoral collaboration to combat the TB. As most of the points has been discussed by Honorable Dr. Uh, Mazar Maksud, they all incorporate the following things only. They are screening, diagnosis, Sanya. morbidities, vulnerable population and people-centered care. These are the recommendations by WHO and in turn they are taken up by the government of India under National TB Elimination Program, which was started in 2017 to 2025. So under this screening, as already explained in elaboration by uh, uh, Dr. Mazar Maksud, how we have to move for that. Then diagnosis, how we have to move for CBNAT or NAT treatment. He has already explained about the various types of treatments under drug sensitive and drug resistance. He has elaborated in detail about the different types of MDR TVs. Other than this, 
when we talk of uh, incorporation that is people centered care what is that people centered care which we can incorporate that is counseling and rapid communication which we really need to do and information of the algorithm to the healthcare professionals those who are meant for the management of this particular tb cases and use of delamide and bedculin your bed q drugs in mdr tvs although he has already given uh, in detail about the drug resistance beyond uh, treatment this is uh, uh, in this basically other action to support is on the basis of the research when we talk of research all the policies related to any country should be guided by its own cases its load and on the basis of that only the policy should be made for the treatment and it should be on the basis of the research uh, i would like to little bit add on the care of the patient and role of the nurse in as it has to be discussed yet uh, by our one of the eminent uh, speaker yes as she started with this only it can be cured and it is preventable when we talk of it can be cured and uh, curable and it is preventable the role of the nurses and community health officers come over there they are supposed to guide counsel before that i would like to say early detection early detection and management at the community level so that it can be detected and on the basis of that the treatment can be given to the people those who are suffering from this one of the astonishing data which uh, was shared by our uh, dr uh, mazhar maksud was out of 87% of the burden of the total countries which give india is one of them as a leading country so here our role is of prime importance at the community level and we really need to work for the people with counseling and then continuing with the regimen because now a days we are finding the cases with mdr and these multi drug resistance cases how they are coming up they are coming up by relapses so as he shared one of the example of the girl who who used to take the medicine in the bag and then she used did, did not use the drug so like this just to avoid all these cases we should incorporate a policy especially nowadays uh, asha workers they are there and they give the treatment and they give the medicine and they are told to eat in front of her only and so that the treatment regimen can be followed completely here is the role of nurse so i would not like i will take very less time and i would like to conclude yes we can end in collaboration as a healthcare team where the chest and tb specialist they will try to find out the people those who have got the disease with the help of screening and then continuing with the treatment as a prime role of a nurse and you have done that drop to the ocean by organizing this event and making the students and other uh, dignitaries uh, faculties aware about the program uh, good afternoon everyone uh, i won't take very long time because you have been very patient to uh, hear uh, the whole session i mean more than 2 hours so it's i just i, I would like to emphasize on role of nurse in prevention and control of tuberculosis because as a tuberculosis is very common in india and is a bacterial infection that primarily affects the lungs but cannot uh, can also affect other parts of the body it can happen anywhere in the body but pulmonary tuberculosis is most common and which is also also called a uh, pulmonary pox and uh, uh, tuberculosis is and is preventable and curable that's why we emphasize on the role of nurse in in preventing and uh, treatment of tuberculosis because uh, nurses are uh, you know they work in hospitals they work in community they work in schools they work in various settings where they can uh, advise people how to protect themselves from the tuberculosis and people who are suffering from tuberculosis how to take care of those uh, persons who are having tuberculosis and how to control how to prevent a uh, drug resistant tuberculosis which is again in the hands of nurses only because if nurses can advise people to continue the drugs till they, they are purely uh, permanently cured
So it's kind of a sad. The reason is so so much of social stigma is attached to tuberculosis. You know, people don't want to reveal they are suffering from tuberculosis, and many people they don't come to the district tuberculosis center. They prefer private practitioner for uh, tuberculosis treatment, and they may discontinue the treatment as they become asymptomatic. Uh, TB is curable, and early diagnosis and treatment is the key to stop uh, tuberculosis. And uh, here, nurses are very important. Now, uh, we need to know, tell the people, or we need to recognize the symptom. You know, anybody having uh, cough for more than three weeks, we can uh, ask the person to go for sputum test. Even the community, what we do, we are in the district tuberculosis officers. They provide us with the container, and when we go to community, we collect the sputum also. And uh, see, uh, uh, persistent cough for more than three weeks, losing. Hey, I am doing my class. Me, I am doing. 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 Uh, TCP based on internationally recommended directly observed treatment short course, which is commonly called DOPS strategy. It was launched in 1997 and expanded across the country in phased manner. Full national wide uh, uh, national wide coverage was achieved in March 2006. Uh, now, some ways to prevent uh, tuberculosis is vaccination. Yeah, at at the time of birth, every child should get. Uh, BCG vaccination. Now, most of the deliveries that government of India uh, wants that every delivery should be institutional delivery. Uh, so, uh, uh, even if uh, you know uh, it's a home delivery, we need to advise ASHA workers and uh, traditional birth attendants to advise people to come to the hospital and have BCG vaccination for the baby. Another thing, BCG vaccine uh, should be effective. We need to see the scar also. Then is early diagnosis and treatment. Early diagnosis and treatment of tuberculosis can prevent the spread of disease. TB can be diagnosed through skin test, blood test, chest X-ray. Treatment usually involves a combination of antibiotics taken for several months, and it has already been discussed. Now we need to identify the symptom in the community: coughing up blood, fever, chest pain, chills, weight loss, night sweats, and long term cough. That is for more than three weeks, and fatigue. Person gets tired easily. Or maybe a person has been in contact with a person having tuberculosis. Sputum collection is very important in case of uh, you know we when we visit home uh, uh, while collecting the sputum we need to have containers from district tuberculosis officer. They provide with the containers. Wash your hands properly. Ask the patient to cough out the sputum in the cup for specimen. It should not be saliva. It should be cough from the lungs. Replace the cap immediately. Put the specimen cup in the polythene bag and send it to the lab. Now we need to, uh, you know, uh, have three samples uh, with the gap of eight to twenty-four hours. And if we are not able to send this immediately, we can keep it in the refrigerator for twenty-four hours. For initial diagnosis of pulmonary tuberculosis, collect a series of three sputum specimens. That's what I told. And optimally, specimens should be collected before drug therapy is started. Since a few days of treatment may inhibit growth and prevent isolation of microbacterium tuberculosis complex, so before starting the treatment, we need to uh, uh, collect the sputum and send for the lab test. Uh, now, for uh, collecting the sputum, we need to give instruction to the patient: clear your mouth, breathe in and out three times, give a sputum sample to the person who is collecting it, and person is going to send it to the uh, lab. Nurses can educate patient about TB and the importance of completing the treatment treatment because it's it's you know dropping out the drop out patients you know they they most of them they have uh, drug resistant tuberculosis they can also counsel patient on infection control measures such as covering their mouth and nose when coughing or sneezing and staying at home uh, when sick.
uh, is spread to the air when an infected person drops or sneezes. Therefore, it is important to take all the measures and proper ventilation should be there uh, in the closed spaces, wearing masks and covering mouth uh, while sneezing and while coughing. And disposal of sputum in patients with pulmonary tuberculosis is very important. It has been found out that knowledge of the spread of tuberculosis and the cuff technique and sputum disposal is very poor in tuberculosis patients. Proper education and counseling regarding the above should be done at the time of diagnosis. So we need to educate the patient for disposal of the sputum. Even a single case of pulmonary tuberculosis can affect many others. As to ensure better control of the disease, it is important that all the patients dispose of their sputum safely. Usually, we provide the patient with the sputum mug. If, if sputum mug is not available, we can give any container with the lid and we can put sand or mud in that and ask the patient to uh, cup up in that uh, container and uh, cover it with the lid. And then a proper disposal of this should be there and usually we, we ask them to burn it and because uh, this tuberculosis, uh, uh, smatobacterium tuberculosis, uh, they're very hard to that. It's very difficult to fill that. And container we need to wash with, uh, uh, you know, chemicals or we can use even uh, bleaching powder. The, uh, we can uh, use, the, you know, uh, we can dilute the uh, bleaching powder in water and we can contain, uh, uh, we can put it in the uh, sputum mug and clean with the uh, bleaching powder. And we can leave the bleaching powder uh, solution in the container for, for, for a little while. Uh, sputum produced by tuberculosis patients need to be disinfected before disposal as mycobacteria remain alive in the sputum even after 24 hours. Mycobacteria do get killed with simple disinfectants. Patients should be encouraged and educated on their appropriate use. Drug resistant mycobacteria might be resistant to common disinfectant too. This needs further confirmatory uh, studies. We need to uh, talk to the district tuberculosis officer how to, uh, you know, uh, uh, dispose of this photo of multiple drug resistant tuberculosis patients. When someone is diagnosed with TB, it is important to identify all of their close contacts and screen them for the disease. This can help uh, in preventing further spread of the disease. Surveillance and reporting nurses can participate in TB surveillance and reporting activities to track the incidence and prevalence of TB in their community. Uh, now, uh, even our students have been involved in the uh, surveillance and reporting uh, when they visited, uh, you know, different PHCs of the uh, Shimla and then they collected samples also. So, anybody is having persistent cough fever, uh, you know, they were asked to give the samples and those samples were sent uh, to the district uh, lab. Educating people about the signs and symptoms of TB and how this spread can help prevent the spread of the disease. It includes teaching people how to practice good respiratory hygiene and encouraging people to seek medical attention if they have symptoms of tuberculosis. So, treatment support. Nurses can provide treatment support to patients with TB, including administration of uh, medication, monitoring side effects, and ensuring medication adherence. That is very important. We need to educate the patient that patient has to continue treatment till the doctor says yes. Now we can discontinue the treatment. And dropouts, and they can play an important role in dropout cases of uh, treatment. And uh, they also play an important role in uh, drops. Where they supervise these uh, patients when they uh, take the uh, they can uh, uh, patients take the medicine here under their supervision. Then strategies patient friendly treatment services should be there. The dots is always already there. Dots strategy promptly and appropriately treating the TB guided by district tuberculosis program, making dots more patient friendly through communitization of dots. Pilot incentive offsets for patients cost to help patients complete treatment and better monitoring through IT, improving partnership between public and private sector. Now, IT also plays uh, an important role in this because we have got all the patients registered with us and we ensure that patients are continuing the medication and they are in touch with us. And uh, nowadays, in, even the government of India has uh, decided to, to give uh, some money to the patient for nutrition. So, patients who are having tuberculosis and are under treatment, they are given uh, rupees 1000 initially uh, to take additional uh, nutrition. Uh, rehabilitation is very important. Uh, where nurses play an important role. It involves identification of persons' problems, needs, 
relating the problem to relevant factors of the person and the environment defining the application goals planning implementing the measure and assessing the impacts because you know if it, so much of social stigma is attached to the uh, tuberculosis you know social at times you know uh, person loses the job or maybe person is doing some work you know maybe person was doing some private work and loses the job and uh, while under the treatment or maybe a person was doing some uh, uh, small business and loses that business uh, though person doesn't have to spend on the uh, treatment because all, almost uh, this the treatment is uh, free of cost for the district tuberculosis center and even additional money is also given but still rehabilitation is required you know to bring the person to the normal uh, life overall nurses play a critical role in tb prevention and control by providing comprehensive care education and support to the patient with tb and their families as well as implementing infection control measure to prevent the spread of the disease uh, i think uh, it was clear uh,